Anyone who visits the Griffin Museum in Winchester through this Sunday will be in for a treat. The museum has an exhibit featuring work from talented photography students from Burlington and Winchester High Schools. The exhibit is part of the annual photosynthesis show that matches students and their teachers with well-known professional photographers and tasks the students with a big photographic undertaking. To kick off the exhibit, the museum held an open reception. So this is photosynthesis and it's a collaboration between Winchester High School and Burlington High School and we have about 12 students apiece I think in here um, so there's probably about 24 total and it's essentially a collaboration of students sort of learning how to do an entire portfolio that's about their sense of space and sense of self um, and creating a portfolio that reflects their personal and unique point of view. The task at hand is no small matter, especially for young student photographers. So creating a portfolio of work is very different than creating one single image or um, even a small series of images. So these are actually pieces of a larger portfolio, um, generally about 12 to 20 images. Um, and so that sort of allows them to really create something, focus on something for about three or four months at a time and, and bring something sort of into a larger idea um, and, and expand on that idea. I asked if there was a marked difference between the quality of the students' work from the beginning of the program to now. Oh gosh, um, yeah, from the beginning, I mean even looking straight in front of me I can remember remember this student doing something very different at the beginning. So sometimes it's just a little bit of, of tweaking, so some have a great idea right to begin with and they're just kind of tweaking that. Um, and then some students start in one spot and end somewhere entirely different. Um, so I've seen an incredible amount of growth. In my opinion, this collaboration is probably one of the better ones that we've done over the years. The artwork on the, on the wall just goes to show that um, the teachers in these uh, photo programs know how to get the work out of the students. I had a chance to speak to some of the Burlington student photographers and ask them about the program and their portfolios. So throughout this project I wanted to focus on a lot of movement because our lives are always changing and I really wanted to focus on that and in my childhood I went through my parents divorce and that was a really big part of my life it kind of changed my perspective on things and I really wanted to focus on the things that I used to deal with it and kind of help me move on. And what made you choose this kind of, you know, the, with the colorful paints and the sort of the splashing? Um, so I thought, I tried to think of an object that would show my emotion a little bit more clearly. So I really wanted to focus on colors and kind of how that relates to my emotion in the pictures. Um, I thought it was, it really developed me as a photographer because I had never really photographed things as a portfolio like all together and something that was so personal to me and I realized how much it could it can make me realize things about my own life and myself rather than just objects and what made you choose the images that you did um, well since it was a project about us, I chose something that was the most personal to me, which is my home because I live in it every day. So um, this is just what was the most obvious choice to me, to express my story as a person. The opening night was a big event for the students, and teachers and photographers alike were excited for the opportunity. I think for them to be able to see their work on the wall like this, presented professionally, it looks amazing. It looks amazing to me when I walked in, and I've been looking at this work for a long time, so I can't imagine for each one of them how incredible it looks to actually come and see their work presented in such a professional manner. Um, I feel really proud. I was really excited coming up to this point. I've been looking forward to it for a really long time. Um, I'm just, it feels so surreal, like uh, just seeing everyone, strangers come and see my art and like reading my words. It's just like crazy. The exhibit will run through Sunday, June 25th. At the Griffin Museum in Winchester, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford.